Okay, this video is on uh, electron configuration. It's kind of a, a bookkeeping way to look at where our electrons are. And remember we said there are different energy levels. And one of the principles is that the lowest energy level <clears throat> gets filled first. Remember that's the off-bow principle. And the way that the, the orbitals are set up is the 1s is the lowest energy, then the 2s then the 2p, then we get to the third energy level, we have the 3s and the 3p and the 3d, but it turns out that the 4s energy level is slightly below the 3d, and then we go to the 4p. And so what electron configuration does is it tells us a couple things. It tells us the, uh, the energy level of the orbitals, uh, what type of orbital they're in, if they're in an sp or d orbital, and then how many electrons are in that orbital. And the way we do this shorthand is say we take our, our first element, hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen is uh, atomic number one, so all it has is one proton and one electron. So if we have all those orbitals available, the 1s, 2s, 2p, etc., where are we going to find that? one electron, well, it's going to be in the lowest energy and it's going to be in the 1s level, right? So we write a, if we want to write the electronic configuration for hydrogen, we say its electron is at energy level one in an S, uh, in an S subshell and it has one electron. So we write a number for the, the uh, energy level. We draw the the letter for the shape of that energy level, and then we put the number of electrons. So if we moved on to helium, which is the, uh, the next element in our periodic table, it has two electrons. So what we have to do is figure out where are those two electrons gonna go, right? And they're gonna fill this lowest level first. So we would say they're in a, at the one energy level in an S orbital, and there are two electrons in there. And the way we would read this is the electron configuration for hydrogen is 1s1, the electronic configuration for helium is 1s2, right? And we could continue that with all the elements, so let's look at a couple more. If we have carbon, carbon is, a, is element number six, right? So it has six protons and its neutral, neutral state it has six electrons. So if we want to draw the electronic configuration, we have to say, well, where are those six electrons going to go? Each S uh, subshell can only take two electrons, so the first two could go in this subshell. The second two could go in here, and we still have two more, so we'd have to put two in the next P orbital, right? So we would say we have one S2, two S2, two and two P2. Two. So Carbon's electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, right? And this, the sum of these numbers here are all the electrons we've accounted for. So we have two, four, six electrons in, in their orbitals, and we started out with six electrons we had to put in orbitals. So all the orbitals, all the electrons are in the appropriate lowest level orbital, right? And remember again that a, a P has a PX and a PY and a PZ direction, so we could fit six electrons in, in this uh, subshell. Once we get to the D, remember there were five, so we could fit 10 electrons in a D. So let's look at, uh, at our, our noble gas, uh, neon. <clears throat> right, neon is uh, element number two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten, so we have 10 electrons we have to put into orbitals. We could fit two here, two here, and six here. So we have a 1s that has two, we have a 2s that also has two, and in our 2p we've used four, we have to put six more, and it can take the next six. So neon's electronic configuration be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Right, and so this is just an accounting way of telling us where the electrons are. So again, they're gonna fill this lowest energy level first. So their first two electrons go in a 1s, so we could put two in here, we could put two in this 2s, and then we get to a p, which again has a p, x, y, and a z, so we could put six electrons in here, we could put another two here, 
and we put another six here and so on and so just by knowing how many electrons you have you can kind of figure out where where you're going to end up All right so we have two electrons here and then we can have uh, 10 electrons here and another two electrons in a 4p and then we could keep going right we go to our, our 4p <coughs> excuse me then we get to our, our 5s our, our 4d and so forth so based on uh, the atomic number as long as it's a neutral atom you can figure out electrons because the number of electrons equal a number of protons in a neutral atom once uh, we start talking about ions then we would be subtracting or adding electrons from these orbitals and we will discuss that later so this is how to write out the electronic configuration so you know, step one is is, is uh, figure out how many orbital or electrons your atom has, figure out number of electrons, and then just place them in the lowest orbitals. Place electrons in lowest orbitals. All right, so it's a, a pretty uh, straightforward process once you know how many electrons you can figure out how far out you need to go just based by how many can fit in each space.